DIY medicine is dangerous. We always recommend you see a licensed physician and the world of dermatology is no stranger to those risky DIY trends. So Dr. Batra, you brought us some examples of DIY dermatology trends. I did. So this first one is an online sensation among beauty bloggers. This is called a micro roller. And what it is is tiny needles that they're using as an alternative to collagen and fillers to plump the lips. And the idea is you put it, uh, this is me <laughs> showing it to you. Um, you're supposed to traumatize it. These little needles irritate the Ouch. skin. They also stimulate collagen. And so the idea is that if you use this continuously, it's going to give you that plumping. It may stimulate some long-term collagen. My big concern about this is you don't see me flinching in that video, but these actually hurt. These are true needles. We do an alternative to this in the office, which is called microneedling, and we use deeper needles than this. But I was actually astonished that when the packaging came with this, this is pretty reasonable. It's a quarter of a millimeter. You could actually buy these online for less than $10 for two and a half millimeter length, which is really long. That's a great way to introduce bacteria, to really traumatize the skin. You could cause scarring and you could trigger a cold sore. I mean, there, there are a lot of risks to this, but big beauty blogger trend online to and stimulate it, those I'll lips. tell you right, it, it hurts. Yeah. You right. can feel it. So the next one is actually really trendy right now. This is actually called a pore vacuum. And so the idea is you use this and the suction is actually pretty intense. I'm gonna show you. And you go right along the skin. Look at that, raising oh, wow. a welt there. And the idea is it suctions out any comb, like any clogged pores, any blackheads, and it works a little better. Sorry, I'm gonna leave you with a blister then. See, pretty red. Wow. And so, so this is pretty strong, probably fine if you have superficial clogged pores and you're just not able to get them out by another way. But my big concern about this as an at-home device is if you're using it for really deep embedded clogged pores or cysts, it's actually just gonna really irritate your skin and make it worse. And you can traumatize your skin with this. Actually, I'm not sure if it showed in the video, but I broke a few capillaries when I did this. Wow. It can stretch out your pore, it can cause scarring. I think Dr. Travis can attest that that probably stings a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty intense suction, and I actually had it at the lowest level. Just word of the wise, yeah. be aware that these things, if not done appropriately, can cause damage. Absolutely. Love it. Thank you, Dr. Batra. Thank you. Stick around, everyone.